Each year, the world loses around 180 billion U.S. dollars in damage from natural disasters, and extreme weather events are expected to become more frequent and more severe with climate change. The question is, what can the world do to adapt? As climate impacts worsen, climate-related weather events are going to get worse and they're going to get more frequent. Bigger storms, bigger costs. It's that simple. So if you look at what happens when a disaster occurs, there's usually a, a, a pattern. And the pattern is, first of all, could we have predicted an event of this size of this, in this location? And the second thing usually is, how much of that disaster is not insured but could have been, if there'd been a better understanding of that risk? There's lots of talk about adaptation planning throughout the world in different cities. Um, but, you know, how can we do that? if there's not tools to, to be able to do that. And we, you know, we feel we provide those tools and working with these partners, uh, you know, could really scale this up very quickly, which is exactly what, you know, the world needs. Oasis LMF have been developing the Oasis platform for catastrophe and climate change risk assessment and adaptation since 2012. In conjunction with Imperial College London, they proposed the platform to the lab to provide the information, tools, and capacity building required to understand risk and to quickly scale up insurance coverage and adaptation planning in regions vulnerable to climate change. The foundation of the platform is clear standards, enabling better data and risk models that are provided through an open marketplace and that are sustainable through local development. So in essence, there are three main components to this platform. The first one is the software itself, and that is already being used by the insurance industry. It's already a proven technology that just needs to be moved into the developing world and used there. Secondly is the e-commerce platform. Now this is a, an environment where data is placed, you can understand its resolution and its utility, and if necessarily you can buy or license that information. And that's a really important component because scientists and institutes all around the world have data for developing countries. Our knowledge of its availability is extremely poor. This environment and this e-commerce platform will make that evident and available to all. Thirdly, is the knowledge transfer of the tools and techniques that need to be understood to make this all work and used together. So we need to make sure that academics and institutes in developing countries understand and know how to use these tools, build these tools, and deploy these tools. While the platform could be used globally, proponents, as well as the lab secretariat, propose a pilot in one or more low and middle income countries in Asia. The countries on which this model focuses lie in Asia, which is one of the regions of the world most affected by climate disasters. Surprisingly, perhaps, it's also one of the most uninsured. Too many communities are suffering disproportionately because they don't have one of the key vehicles that are, uh, is available in the world to be able to transfer with risk, which is coming from either the capital markets or the insurance markets. The OASIS platform and resulting risk modeling has many potential uses. It can be used to scale up insurance markets and for adaptation planning, helping communities both build climate resilience and recover more quickly from disasters. It's this ability to be able to plan where not to build new housing, where not to build new roads, how to you know, lift roads so that they they're they sort of protected from flood risk. Um, you know, there's a whole range of uh, you know, uses for this type of technology, um, you know, both in the insurance sector and in, 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 in sort of civil, civil society. So this is really about changing the understanding of risk using standards to ensure its simplicity with training to make sure everybody can do this.